What's up guys, Neil Orfield here, and I'm gonna do a little introductory video about So Rare. If you're like me, you may have heard of So Rare before, but you may know it as a soccer product, but it's not just a soccer product. And what I wanna talk about today is the So Rare NBA product. So Rare is a fun mix of collectibles and gaming. The collectible part, pretty straightforward. There are various ways you can obtain player cards on the site the player cards are just like physical trading cards except they're digital existing on blockchain technology while you can't hold the card you do own your cards and much like physical cards these cards vary in terms of scarcity with the scarcer cards being serial numbered for each player there are common cards with no serial number there are limited cards numbered to 5000 rare cards numbered to 1000 super rares numbered to 100 and then one of one unique cards each scarcity has its own design for common limited rare super rare and unique cards you can use your active players in future NBA seasons as well for the games. A change from traditional sports gaming, these cards are NFTs and yours forever unless you sell them. There are several different ways to obtain these cards. In fact, right when you sign up for So Rare NBA, you will be gifted 20 free common cards, including one superstar of your choice and 19 random player cards. You can also buy cards in the marketplace where there are regular auctions, buy it now options, and card packs that you can buy at each scarcity level. If you're a new user, we also have an offer for you. Stochastic is excited to be an authorized partner of So Rare and one of the first places you will find bonus offers for So Rare NBA. Sign up for a new So Rare NBA account using our link and you'll get one free limited card after completing your first five card purchases on the primary market. Limited cards are typically purchased in the marketplace or won as rewards for high placement in tournaments and help unlock the ability to participate in different tournaments. Getting a free limited card is a massive perk for signing up. The limited cards are one of 5,000 and tracked on the Ethereum blockchain, so you'll always know exactly how many cards are in circulation. In addition to getting a free limited card by signing up through Stochastic, you can also find great so rare projections on Stochastic that will show how many points per game we project for each player and how many games they'll be playing in the tournament period. Okay, the final way to get cards is by winning the contest posted on so rare twice weekly. Games run Monday through Thursday and then Friday through Sunday. A meaningful number of cards are reserved to be prizes in those games. Through these games, you can also win unique prizes throughout the season, such as jerseys, tickets, and other experience-based prizes. There are different contest types for the different level of cards. There are limited contender contest, limited champion, rare contender, rare champion, super rare champion, and unique champion contests. In contender tournaments, you'll be able to win more cards of that scarcity to continue building your collection and strengthening your team. In champion tournaments, there are fewer card rewards to win, but you can win cards of higher scarcities and progress to competing in even more tournaments. Common contender and common champion require a full lineup of common cards. To play in limited tournaments, you'll need to have five limited cards to field your team. To play in rare tournaments, you'll need to use at least three rare cards, but you can use up to two limited cards to round out your team. To play in super rare tournaments, you'll need to use at least three super rare cards, but you can use up to two rare cards. And then to play in unique tournaments, you'll need to use at least two unique cards, but you can use up to three super rare cards. All right, so I'll tell you a little bit how you can create different lineups and the scoring for these contests. When creating a lineup, each player card is given a 10 game scoring average, which counts towards the competition specified points gap. So essentially for each player, you, you'll see a number listed on the card and that is that player's 10 game average score. And that's exactly what it is. It's the number, the average number of fantasy points they have scored in their past 10 games, but there's a points gap. So you can't just play all superstars. You, you can't play, you know, five players that are LeBron James caliber who average, you know, 50 nine points per game or something like fantasy points per game you'd go over the points gap generally and the ones that i've looked at the points gap is around 110 to 120 it probably is going to vary in different tournaments but that is what i've seen so you need to keep it under that cap it's essentially a salary cap uh so you can't just play again all superstars uh, for all competitions on so rare nba you're going to be using five players in your lineup you can play any player at any position in each of your five spots you just cannot again uh, you can't exceed that points cap which is generally 110 to 120 and again the superstars get close to you know a lot of them around 60 points so you know if you use just one you probably can't use more than one superstar generally 
Uh, so rare NBA champion competitions will feature a most valuable player. The MVP does not count against the points cap. So I guess because because of that, you could potentially play two uh, superstars if you use one in the MVP spot. Yeah, maybe you can make it work. The MVP designation is automatically assigned to the player with the highest 10 game average on the roster. So you're making lineups with five different players and one of them they're not going to count against the salary cap the other four have to stay under like 110 or 120 fantasy points or so based on that 10 game average uh the scoring is a little bit unique it's not quite like uh either of the dfs sites uh there are for example you get negative two points for a turnover uh it's similar to FanDuel in a lot of ways one point per point 1.2 points per rebound 1.5 points per assist three per block or steal those are just like FanDuel, but then negative two points for a turnover and then you also get a bonus point for making a three-pointer a double double and a triple double you just get one fantasy point for each of those so a little bit different than any of these scoring systems that we are traditionally used to in the dfs space but that makes it a little bit more fun having a different way to score it uh, a couple tips for making your rosters just things that i think are going to be useful in staying under that salary cap and making some great lineups i would try to use players who have the most games in the period so again contests run monday through thursday and then friday through sunday some teams are going to have more games than others typically i'm going to be taking players that have you know sometimes there will be teams that some teams that just play one game in the period some teams that play up to three typically i'm going to want to make my lineup of only players playing three games in that period uh that'll make you you know obviously having more games more opportunity to score fantasy points and that is the number of games in the period is not reflected in the 10 game average so easy way to stay under that salary cap and still make some great lineups and then the other thing to keep in mind is so these are 10 game averages and sometimes there are players whose 10 game average doesn't necessarily reflect their projection so for example here Glenn capella he's been recovering from injury recently playing limited minutes uh players like that who have been recovering from injury but are you know slowly increasing their minutes limit are going to project a little bit better than their 10 game average will reflect so that's another way you can kind of sneak some players into your lineup that maybe project a little bit better than other players in that same 10 game average range so just a couple of tips there uh, you can start playing again fridays mondays new competitions every week so plenty of opportunities to get in on the action hope you can find some success in these so rare competitions thanks for watching hit that like button have a good day